everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you the complete renovation process of our guest bathroom. When we first moved in, all we did was paint and add some decorations just to make it look a little bit nicer until it was time to renovate. That time has finally come, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm standing out in the hallway and I'm going to share with you guys what our bathroom looks like before we touch it. So when my husband and I moved in, we did paint and decorate this bathroom, but we haven't really done anything other than that. So you can see here we have this really strange flooring. It's like this vinyl non-tile flooring and it just looks so bad. I don't know who thought to put that in there but it's awful and then it has this vanity over here with this shell shaped sink which is so outdated the um, fixture was original that was the way it was when we moved in the light fixture up here was also original and you can see it's like rusted and gross so here's just kind of more of an overview so we're going to replace this um, the toilet I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's like having this running issue, so we're replacing the toilet. Um, there's nothing on here right now. We might hang like some storage here, but we don't have anything right there yet. This pretty shower curtain is from Target. Um, the shower itself is gonna stay the same. We're not gonna touch that, so it's just a basic like tub and shower. And then right here, we just have the towels and I have a little clock up here. So the main things that we're gonna do is just get some new flooring, a new vanity, and a new toilet. So here's just the before. So it's been a few hours since I showed you guys the before tour, and here's the progress so far. So he ripped out the vanity, the toilet, the baseboards, and the flooring, and laid the new tile. So he went with this beigey colored tile, and I think it's gonna match the vanity that we picked out really well. So I think it's super pretty. So we just gotta let this dry and then he's gonna come in and grout it tomorrow. And then I'm probably gonna go over it with some paint, just the same color, but just to kind of freshen it up while it's all empty. So yeah, it's coming along. First day, I'm really excited. So it is day two of our guest bathroom renovations. The tile has all set. It is all dry and good to go now. So our friend Eddie, who is renovating the bathroom, is gonna come over later on today and grout the whole floor. And I wanna show you guys some of the stuff that we're putting in the bathroom while it's like in the boxes and everything so you can see the name brand and all that in case you're interested. So we have this grout. I don't really know anything about it. Um, and it is in the shade. Where is it? Linen. So, and then this came from Home Depot. So we're doing this linen poly blend sanded grout. That's what's gonna be with the tile. Um, we got this Delta faucet for the sink. Um, we had the original faucet still in there and it was god awful ugly. So we got this silver one. We got this light fixture to match. We're trying to keep everything kind of silver. So we got this light fixture. This is from Lowe's. This is from Lowe's as well. We have two of these Delta toilets. How exciting. Um, those came from Lowe's as well. And then we have this style selections vanity so that's what it looks like if you guys watched our vlogs we asked you guys which one you liked and we went with this white um vanity with some really cool like granite top which i think is going to match the tile really well speaking of tile let's move it on over here this is the tile that we went with we got this from home depot and that's just what the side of the box looks like so i'm not really sure what the color is but we got it from home depot it was pretty inexpensive and now i have to find the paint you like our attic ladder we had issues with the wi-fi and my brother-in-law had to come over and like rerun it and we had to leave the attic open for me to get a good signal <laughs> it's been stressful you guys know i work from home so having a good wi-fi is a must but anyway I need to find the paint that we used in the bathroom because I need to kind of like touch up the paint. Just, I'm not gonna repaint it, I'm just gonna touch it up and kind of paint spots that I wasn't able to get to um, now that everything's ripped out and we have like very clear, um, uh oh, this is not looking good. There's not much left. If you guys are interested, oh wait, no, this is a family room. Where's the bathroom paint? Whoa, falling over. Is this it? This looks, we have so many paint colors, you guys. It's ridiculous. This is gonna be hard. 
think this is it. This is, this is the only blue we have in the house, so we're gonna go with it. Sherwin-Williams Olympus White. Is that it? Oh, I'll have to open it up and check it out. But I'm just gonna paint, um, just to kind of freshen it up, give it a good once over. Probably not gonna spend too much time on it, but just so it looks nice and fresh. I don't wanna put all this new stuff in there and then have the paint look kind of dingy, so. <sighs> Let the fun begin. Well, here we are. It is day number three of bathroom renovations. After I talked to you guys yesterday, we had the floor grouted, and I think that it came out really well. I really like the way that it looks. However, we had to wait for the grout to dry before we could paint, so I wasn't able to touch up the paint yesterday, so I'm going to do that today. Um, first, I'm going to come in with probably a magic eraser and just clean up the walls a little bit, and then I'm going to cut in and just roll probably just once just to give it, you know, one coat just to kind of freshen up the paint. The paint that I showed you guys yesterday, or in the last clip, wasn't the right paint. I found it. It is from Home Depot, and it was a color or custom match, or a custom color match. I don't even know what I matched it with, but it's just this really pretty blue color, so I'm going to open the paint can up and get to work. All right, the paint is done. You can still kind of see the outline of the old toilet, which is kind of funny. Uh, but it is drying, and then later on tonight, we are going to have everything installed. So we'll have our new toilet, our new vanity. I'm so excited. So one step closer. Here we are, day five of the guest bathroom renovations. It is Saturday. The bathroom was supposed to be done on Thursday. However, we ran into quite the issue. So here is the vanity that we picked out. We showed you guys this. And then here is the pipe that comes out of the wall. Let me see if I can show you guys this better. Okay, so you can see that the pipe pretty much hits the bottom of this because there's that drawer. Well, don't mind how crazy it is in here. This has to go under that and there's no way to do that with the drawer. So, the next option, put that back. The next option would be to cut a big hole in the wall and try and move this up higher. But then if we do that, then we have to take down the whole mirror and replace the mirror and we don't even know if we could even do that. That's just kind of a possibility. So we don't want to go through all that trouble and all that work. So we're going to take this vanity back to Lowe's and try and find a new one. Uh, if you guys had watched previous vlogs when we were first talking about doing the bathroom renovations, there was a couple different ones that we were trying to choose between. But honestly, I just really like the white in here now that I see it. The white with the white tub and the blue wall. I just think it looks really nice and fresh and clean. I like the way it looks with the floor. It just, I don't know, looks really bright and open. So I would really like to try and stick with a white vanity and I'm kind of sad that this one didn't work out. I wish that this drawer just wasn't there and we just had these doors all the way to the bottom and then the sink because I really liked this vanity but we're gonna go to Lowe's and see if we can find something else and then hopefully tonight we will be able to finish up the bathroom. We were able to pick a new vanity out, and now David's in here painting where the old vanity was. Just, why not? Um, and also, we don't know if it's going to cover up the whole space. So, he's painting in here. He just painted up where that old light fixture was. We're putting in a new one to match the vanity. What do you think about the bathroom renovation so far? What do I think? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what I think, it's not about what you think, honey. <laughs> this is a team effort, hun. I think it looks good. It is day number, who even knows anymore, of bathroom renovations. Uh, last night, David was in here painting where the vanity used to be. I'll kind of turn you guys around and show you what it looks like now. So this all was painted. However, when we put the new vanity in this morning to see how it would do with size, it's not the greatest. It's a little too small. So you see a big chunk of this. The, the mirror is wider than the vanity, so you see all of this as well. And it kind of looks dumb because there's like a big chunk of mirror sticking out. And it's really like kind of skinny. It goes like really probably up to like here. So I think we're going to return it and try and get a new one. Um, just because if we do put this one in, we're going to have to take down the mirror. Um, and we're going to have to mud behind the mirror. We're going to have to mud all of this. And I just don't really want to do all of that. So, I'm not absolutely sold on this vanity. I would really prefer the white. So, we're going to um, go to Home Depot and see if we can find something there. I saw a couple online that I really liked. So, we're going to go check that out and see if we can find one that fits a little bit better. Um, it's just such an odd space. It's like a 26-inch space and like little the little vanities, like standard size is 24 inches. 
So there's two inches of gap for the mirror and all that, so I don't know. But we're gonna go see if we can find something else and hopefully get this done at some point. <laughs> it's starting to get to the point where it's like, oh, I wish we didn't even do this anymore. But I'm sure once it is all done, I will be happy that we did it. So, new plan. We're gonna return the vanity that we just bought and go back and buy the vanity that we originally had. We had someone come over, my dad, and look at it. And him and David talked about it and they think that they can make it work. So, here's what the wall looks like at the moment. We have decided to take the mirror off. We have mud over the, where the glue was holding it. We're gonna have to mud that, sand it, and then paint it so it matches. And then we're gonna get like a free hanging mirror and we're gonna try and make this whole thing work. So, let the fun begin. It's been a couple days. We were able to get the plumbing all situated. We patched all of the holes that were in the wall, sanded them down, and now I'm getting ready to put a new coat of paint on all of this white stuff. I've got paint out here, ready to go, and hopefully soon we will finally be able to put everything back in. All right, so it is the next day after we painted, so the paint had time to dry. So everything looks really nice. We are replacing this light fixture. I think I said that already, but we are replacing that light fixture. So just so you know, it's gonna be silver. Um, you can kind of see a couple of spots where we had to put the mud, but this is all fine because the mirror is gonna cover that and you won't even see it. Other than that, I think the, the um, paint blends pretty well. We did put the vanity here just to see what it looked like. It hasn't been installed or anything yet. So that's just kind of a little look. It's kind of nice to see everything coming together. So we have that, and then tomorrow we are supposed to be getting this installed in the toilet, and then the mirror we bought is actually a little too short, so we're gonna go see if we can return that and get a little bit of a longer mirror. And everything should be done soon. I'm getting excited. Finally, everything is starting to come together, and I can't wait to see what it all looks like. All right, guys, a few days later, we've had some progress. We got the toilet installed. Don't mind the huge mess in the tub. We got the vanity installed. David's working on the light fixture right now, getting that good to go. We need to go have a mirror either cut or we need to find like a framed mirror or something. The mirror we originally bought just wasn't long enough. So we do that, but it's looking good. Did you fix the plumbing? Uh, I think so. We had a little bit of a leaking issue with the plumbing, but Hopefully it's all worked out, but I really like it. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's put together. So it has probably been weeks since the last clip is filmed, but we finally got the mirror up. It took us a really long time to decide what mirror we were gonna go with. My dad came over and helped me hang it. Uh, Dave was afraid he was gonna hang it too high because David hangs everything too high. He's six foot eight, so to him everything looks normal, but to all of us average size people, everything looks super high. So my dad came over and helped me hang it. We just kind of secured it with some tape just so it wouldn't come off the wall at all while the glue was drying. We also pushed some books up against just to hold the weight so it wouldn't fall when the glue was drying. It has been a couple of days, so we're gonna remove the tape, take the books out, and I can finally show you guys the finished product. It's finally time for the big reveal, so let's go in and check it out. I'm standing out in the hall and I'm going to walk you guys in and show you the final tour. So here is a little bit of an overview of how everything looks. You guys know we kept the same paint color and the same decor because honestly I just really love it. I feel like it goes really well in my home so I was happy to keep all the same decor. So here's an overview. I think my favorite thing about the bathroom is the new flooring. I absolutely love the tile. I hated the old flooring that was in here, so I was happy to get rid of it and get some tile in here. The new toilet looks so nice and shiny. Uh, this toilet is actually a little bit longer than the old toilet that we had, so this rug is a little bit too long. You can tell that it kind of comes up right there. So I'll probably replace that eventually just because that's a little annoying to look at. So there's that, and then over here is the vanity. I'm so happy that everything worked out with the plumbing so that I was able to use the vanity that I originally wanted. I just think the white looks so nice in here, it just really brightens up this room. And then I wanted to keep the vanity fairly simple, so all I have over here is just a Method foaming hand soap. It was from Target and it matches the bathroom pretty perfectly, so that's kind of crazy. And then on this side, I just have a little candle that a subscriber sent to me and it smells amazing. I think it's mint mojito. Oh, it smells so good. And then here is the mirror that we hung. Hey guys, it looks really good. And then up here is the light fixture we put in. We still need to fill in those holes and paint over there uh, that was just left from the old light fixture. 
We kept the same medicine cabinet because it was fine. It didn't really need to be replaced, so we kept that. And then this is the wall that I want to do something with. Either get a cabinet or floating shelves or maybe a couple different picture frames or something. That is why it has taken so long to get this video up because I really wanted the bathroom to be 100% done until I showed you guys. But I'm just so indecisive and I just can't find the perfect thing for right there. So when I do, I will update you guys probably on Instagram or maybe in a vlog. I will show you um, what we decide to do. But for right now, this wall is blank but no something is coming. And then above the toilet, I just have this little basket, and it has some extra rolls of toilet paper, and then the same shower curtain that was from uh, Target. I just, I love it so much. I just, uh, I'm obsessed. I love that shower curtain. And then this clock that my mother-in-law gave me when we uh, first moved in, and just the matching towels also from Target, toilet paper roll, little rug. So that is how everything turned out. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the renovation process of our guest bathroom. We kept it relatively simple and inexpensive and I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. I would love for you guys to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the new bathroom. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.